We are going through exercise 6c and in this video I'm going to be answering all the questions from question 8. So we have to factorize each of the following. Now to do this we're simply going to follow these two things before us. So this is the difference of cubes, this is the sum of cubes and we're just going to follow this to answer these questions. The very first thing that we're going to do is go alright we have x cubed minus 1. So that simply is going to be well I have x, I'm going to cube it, minus 1. I'm going to cube it because 1 is a cubed number and x cubed is obviously cubed. And now I simply just have to follow this pattern. So it's going to be x minus 1 x squared plus x plus 1. And just like that I've answered my first one. Let's now move on to our second one. So again I'm going to just simply rewrite it with brackets. So x cubed plus 64 that's simply going to be x cubed plus 4 squared cubed sorry and that means I'm going to get because it's a plus here now uh, I'm going to get x plus 4 and then as you can see here now I have a negative so it's going to be x squared negative a times x so x times 4 4 x then it's going to be plus a squared so plus 4 squared so it's going to be plus 16 and that is my answer to the second one. Let's now continue to 27. The first thing that I do is I rewrite it with my brackets. I have 27x cubed so that's going to be 3x cubed minus 1 cubed. So that means I'm going to wind up with 3x minus 1 and then everything else will be positive so it's going to be the first one is squared plus 3 times 1 is 3x and then lastly my last one squared so it's going to be plus 1. So just making sure you have your pluses or minuses in the right spot and then just squared multiply them square the last one so just your simple quadratics. All right let's highlight that one let's keep on going to 64 64 once again is 4 cubed, so 4 cubed, 3 minus 125 is 5 cubed, so that means I'm going to wind up with 4x minus 5, square the first one, multiply them together, and everything is going to be positive now. 4x times 5 is 20x. And square the last one plus 5 squared is 25. Give my highlighter, give that a highlight. Move on to the next one. This is going to be 1 squared minus 5x squared. Do I, am I saying squared? I meant to say cubed, sorry. Uh, I'm not re-recording this <laughs> because I've been saying squared. All right, um, what are we doing? We're doing 1 minus 5x. Then it's going to be, I'm going to uh, square this one. Square is the right word there. Then I'm going to go plus 5x. Then I'm going to square the last one. So it's going to be plus 25x squared. Close my brackets, get my highlighter, and we give that one a highlight. Let's keep on going. This one, this one is going to be 2 cubed plus 3x cubed. So I'm going to wind up with 2 plus 3x so now that I have a plus I need to make sure that I'm following the right thing here so now I'm going to square the first one so 2 squared is 4 then there's going to be a minus then it's going to be 2 times 3x which is going to be 6x and then what I'm going to do is 3 squared which is going to be plus 9x squared do that go there I like that. That is my answer for that one. 4, a, four minus 6x. Well, yeah, perfect. Last two. We're nearly there. 
So now what I'm going to do here, 64, once again, is going to be 4 cubed. So it's going to be 4m3 minus 27. It's going to be 3n3. Then, look, I'm not looking at it anymore, so we're just going to do it by heart. We know that when it's going to be a negative, it's going to be 4m minus 3n then it's going to be uh, 4m squared, so 16m squared, plus 4 times 3 is 12mn, then it's going to be 3n squared plus 9n squared, close that bracket, so this is going to be this. Then, let me just move this over, so we have some more room to work. So this is going to be 3b cubed plus 2a cubed, which is going to wind up being, now that I've got a plus, it's going to be 3b plus 2a, this one squared, 9b minus this times this is going to be 6a B, then it's going to be plus 2a, which is going to be square of that, sorry, 4a squared, that, come here, like that, and we're done. So as you can see, th these questions really aren't that tricky at all, but they are prone to error. So you really need to make sure that you are on top of that. But apart from that, I'm going to leave that video, this video here. Hopefully it's been helpful to you. Let's just zoom out and appreciate all the hard work we've done. Look at all that work, beautiful. I will see you in the next video.